Hello everybody, welcome to another review. Today I'll be taking a look at the new Panda Cloud Antivirus 2.0. It's uh, just been released uh, a couple of days ago or something like that. So this is how it looks like. They have made a large number of changes and the major one is I think the fact that uh, now the free version of Panda Cloud Antivirus does have behavioral blocking and uh, you know zero day protection which was uh, missing before the release of uh, 2.0 so now they have added this uh, new option to take a look at your process now you can see how secure your process are if there's something suspicious here you can terminate it now they do have a firewall in their cloud antivirus but that's only available if you buy their pro version USB vaccination is also available only with the pro you can see their interface has changed and I think it looks a little bit better now and if we take a look at the advanced settings there you go behavioral blocking and behavioral analysis this is enabled so Hopefully, it's going to have a lot more zero-day protection than it used to have. And you can see detection of PUPs is enabled. So I've basically just left it in stock settings. I haven't messed with any of these. So I mean, that's about it. Uh, they don't allow too much customization. Basically, there's nothing much to customize because it's a cloud-based antivirus and uh, but let's see how the new behavior blocker works so that's how it looks now let's take a look at uh, how heavy it is on the system they claim to be one of the lightest antivirus software available in the market and that's basically because it runs in the cloud let's see if it's really that light I mean it isn't the lightest I wouldn't say that but it's certainly pretty light it's using about 18 to 19 megabytes of RAM doesn't seem I mean this computer doesn't seem to slow down quite a lot so I guess that's fine they do have a security toolbar here so if you take a look at the settings you can see it does have URL filtering so now we'll see how it does against uh, the malware that I've got. I've got all sorts of things, uh, you know, Java exploits, Trojans, just about everything. So we'll see how Panda does against these zero day threats. First one, some piece of adware. Let's see if Panda catches this one. Okay, no reactions from Panda. Now the computer slowed down quite a bit, maybe because Panda is trying to scan the file, but uh, it's slowing down quite a bit, I mean shouldn't slow down so much you can see it just uh, hang it's just hanging up at the moment so this one has got into memory successfully it wasn't caught by panda so let's just continue here it might be caught later on because uh, this comes with this piece of spyware which is you know it's downloading this piece of spyware so we'll see if panda blocks that meanwhile let's just try out the next link this is again some kind of infected web page I'm not sure if panda has got okay so it was trying to drop some file and that was blocked or maybe this one was blocked yeah this piece of spyware got blocked by Panda, so 
no point of continuing the setup. I'm just going to close it. So first one got caught. Okay, this is again some kind of adware. It's not doing anything. Okay, here you can see it's some kind of uh, fake redirect. I don't know how to classify this. Should I classify it as a miss or not? I don't know. So, let's try the next one. This is certainly some infected web page. It was caught by about 23 engines in Firestore. Okay, I don't know if this is a phishing website or something or some illegal website but whatever it is it isn't good that's all I know so the next one's a Trojan so it should be easier for us to find out how Panda does against uh, this one this is just Adobe Flash Player I don't know if uh, this part of the maliciousness of the site not exactly sure Let's see how, if Panda catches this one. This is again a piece of adware. Okay, this one was cut and it was neutralized. Okay, this is a piece of exploit. can see it wants to start up Java and it's waiting for the redirect it's not doing anything so let's uh, just wait for it to do whatever it wants to do meanwhile let's just check out the next link Okay, this again, some kind of uh, exploit kit. This one's another exploit. I don't think Panda has got any kind of protection against exploits. I'm not sure if they've got anything at all for that. They do have a toolbar, but I don't know how well it does. See, so far, it hasn't blocked anything at all. This is a Trojan. So this one was also cut by Panda. So, I mean, it's been a fairly boring link test, I can say, because uh, I had a lot of exploits and stuff that really isn't going to be cut by Panda. So, Anyway, let's just proceed with the, okay, it wants me to restart. I'll restart later, I guess. So let me just unzip my pack of malware and we'll do a scan. Okay, so I have 202 files in here. So I'll just do a right-click scan and I'll be back with the results. Panda completed its scan successfully and now it's uh, neutralized 137 items so there are no problems this time. Maybe it didn't neutralize the suspicious files, I'm not sure, but I guess it's neutralized everything because it's not telling me, it hasn't given me anything that is not neutralized, so probably 
removed everything, so let's see what we're left off with. In fact, we were left off with quite a lot of files here. 71 of them, so I'll just do one more scan to be sure. There you can see it isn't finding anything else, so 71 items. We had a total of 202. So that's a detection rate of 64.85%. Uh, now I don't know why it makes me think that cloud-based antiviruses are getting worse and worse on the detection rate. Because I remember when Panda was less based on the cloud and more based on signatures, it used to do a lot better, at least in the detection rate case. I know these files are just a couple of days old, but 65 is below average. Uh, I mean, there's no, nothing I can do for uh, the detection rate part. It's uh, pathetic. So let me just uh, run some of these. First, let me re-enable the Panda antivirus. Okay, so antivirus is enabled. So now let's try run some of these and see what happens if Panda gets any of these. A lot of these are probably just adware, but we'll see what happens. You can see this is a piece of adware. So far, no responses from the Panda behavior blocker, so it's not detected anything suspicious so far. You can see it's a lot of adware. It's got that Babylon toolbar that's all over the place. A lot of this has got fake icons. You can see this one's got a fake icon, I guess. So I guess uh, that's enough. I'll run this one and then I'll just do a scan with Norton Power Eraser. Of course I'll restart first so that Panda can remove whatever it wanted to remove. And then I'm going to run Norton Power Eraser and I'll be back with the results. Welcome back guys. I just did a scan with Malwarebytes to shorten up this review and uh, you can see what it's found. It's found a bunch of stuff. Sol Adware, PUP Adware, Resquare, Adware Agent, Affiliate, Downloads, and all that kind of stuff. So we'll remove them, and I'm not going to do a scan with Hitman Pro. So I guess this is enough evidence to say that Panda is not doing so well. 
And my main uh, concern about Panda is that it's getting worse by the day. And uh, I remember when I first tested their cloud a long while ago, it had a great web blocking service. It used to block a lot of websites from the web. And it used to do a lot better than this. Their signatures used to be a lot better too. So I don't know where they're going right now. So. Anyway, I hope the review wasn't as bad as the product because uh, I know I had a lot of adware today, which even I don't really like testing with, but I had no choice, so I don't uh, get the mal malware. I don't get to choose all the malware samples that I get, so that's what is in the web right now. So hope you guys enjoyed this little review. Hope Panda get something out of this because really I mean they're not improving to be honest and right now there are a lot of security suites that are gonna do a lot better than this so I'm not gonna recommend this to anyone right now I think there's a lot of better stuff for you to try so anyway that's it for today have a nice day and talk to you guys later